<clears throat> hey everybody, welcome to another Friday Night Craft Beer Review. This one, yeah, <laughs> we're looking at that. <laughs> this one is a remote uh, camping edition. We are out in the wilds camping, or glamping, I think is what you said earlier, oh. right? <laughs> and... Uh, we are going to be trying for the first time, and I've never had one, and she's never had one either. Is what? this supposed to be that big? Is this so what? Can, yeah, so we I can see the see chat. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know how to do this live thing. Yeah, I do. It's just huge on the screen, so I was wondering, <laughs> is that what they see? But that's not yeah. what they see. You're Somebody, just... one person's watching, so. <laughs> Thank you. It's probably not that clear right now, but uh, the cellular connection Old is not so great out here, so, but whatever. Anyways. Um, so we are going to be trying the Mosaic Mist from Platform Beer Company. And the cool thing about it, I posted this on Instagram the other day. Um, it has the ingredients on the label, which is kind of cool. Oh, that's um, really neat. Yeah, it's really neat. And so they tell you what's in it. So this has two-row, carafone, acidulated uh, malt, mosaic, Amarillo for hops, Mosaic for hops, Amarillo for hops, Galena for hops, and Callista for hops. Hmm. Now the yeast is a Vos uh, Kvaik is what they call it, I think. Uh, old Norse, yeah, Old Norse can tell me if that's correct, but uh, he was telling me that I guess this this yeast has a little bit of bacteria in it, so it might make it a little bit sour. But here's the thing: okay. uh, Golden Naked Oats and Flaked Oats, both of those add some sweetness to it. So I'm There's thinking really maybe called Golden Naked Oats. Yeah, Golden Naked Oats. Yeah, not just for uh, baths really? anymore. <laughs> um, and then it is a New England IPA style. So let's uh, get into it. I'm excited to try this because I have never had a New England IPA. I've had Hetty Topper, which I don't know. Some people say that's a New England IPA, but we'll see whether or not. Well, slow down for what? You're just so fast. Yeah, it doesn't come across I'm that way. I'm tired. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. And it is really... Yep, nice and uh, hazy, which they're known to be hazy. Mm, smells good from I'll hold that up there. See if I can hold it up here where people can see it a little bit better. Yeah, that is definitely... Ooh, man, it smells like a yeah, you can smell, fruit bomb. Smell can. No kidding. Hey, Rodolfo. Hi. Wow, that's amazing. Hey, Backwoods Boondock Review. Man, that smells really, really good. It does. I'll tell you what, I'm smelling... I just I just get like a really fruity smell. Um, it is absolutely amazing aroma. Mm -hmm. I'm getting like orange and some pi aroma. pineapple too, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, no, the mosaic is a really yeah, that's fruity what I was say, mosaic. Uh, type, and then amarillo is that way as well. That so, but yeah, this is uh, this smells really awesome. So, let's get into it. Okay, I put mine right. down so I wouldn't. All righty. Wow, that is uh, definitely different for sure. Let's see if I can turn this up a little bit. Let me see if I can get it turned up a little Thank bit here so you guys you. can hear me. Oops, I think I turned it down here. Let me see if I can turn it up. Let's see. Is that better? I think that's going to be better Brian, now. That yeah. means it's like off. <laughs> Whoops, that's too much. Yeah. Let's see here. Okay. Is that better? No, I think that's probably a little bit better. We'll let you guys tell us what you think, whether you can hear us better or not. Uh, we'll see what we got there. Alcohol yeah. by volume is 6% with this one. Yeah. And uh, IBU, IBU is 46. 46. So. Hmm. It definitely has a it has a different bitterness to it. And I want, I don't know if it's that Kvike yeast or not. That's what I'm thinking. Because it does lend a little bit of a... Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, I, try, I turned it up a little bit more. You guys let me know if it needs to go up a little bit higher. I can turn it up a little bit more. <laughs> it's interesting. This is not the yeah. beer for me, but yeah, it's it's good. What do, you, what do you not like about it? I mean, as far as what, what what's not for you about it? It's heavier. Heavier It's how? got a heavier taste to it, a heavier flavor um, yeah. palette, on my palate. Well, and they're supposed to be thick because of the mm -hmm. oats. The oats add well, a lot of body to them. You know what I mean? It, yeah, it was, it was really thick coming out of the, the can. Light. I mean, it's like, you know, you can kind of see it's like... Whoa. It's interesting. I, but, I think it's good. It's just... Yeah. I mean, I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Happy Beer Friday, John. Right up your alley. All right, let's see if it's, uh, that's a little bit better there. I think I turned it the right way. No, I didn't. I turned it the wrong way. Let me see here. Okay, let's try here. 
hello, hello. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's uh, that's getting up there for sure. That's probably even better now. So, cheers, everybody. Cheers. It's definitely a craft beer. I mean, come on. It's... Have a beer. The weekend is here. Is that it? <laughs> for sure. No, it's not it. Uh -huh. We're just saying have a beer. Well, that's it's... what we say in the end. I know, but this oh. is not the end. This is just the beginning. So. Okay. There's going to mm. be a party tonight. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So all, who else is having a beer on this uh, Friday night? Just out of curiosity, and what are you having? <clears throat> mm. Cheers. Cheers, uh, Weekend Brewer. Mm. Actually, it grows on me. I like it, actually. I've um, never it, had something. I've never had a New England before. Maybe that's me neither. it. And me neither. It's, it's growing on me. It's different. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it is a thicker type of IPA. Yeah, I mean, I definitely, I like the mouthfeel of it a lot. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more bitter than what I was, but my not, perception not of what it was supposed though, to be. You know what I mean? Some of them kind of stick yeah, a little. Yeah, This is smooth. It's definitely a little bit more bitterness than what I was expecting from this because everybody was saying how they're very um, lightly bitter. Yeah, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> no, it's actually a, uh, a New England IPA. It's not an American wheat. Uh, for those of you that missed the beginning, it's got uh, two row carafone, right. acidulated, uh, yeah, cool, boondock, uh, acidulated malt, and I'm assuming the acidulated malt is to bring the pH down on it because it, that's one of the things that the profile I was listening to a um, a podcast from Experimental Brewing and they had a guy on that. That's what I was going to ask. What does that? Yeah, acidulated malt actually lowers the pH on it, so okay, I'm assuming they probably it. put that in there to lower the pH down. So. Um, awesome. Oh, okay. Your beer is American wheat. <laughs> I did ask a question, oh, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> awesome. Cheers. I love Headhunter for sure. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Mm. But uh, it has Mosaic, Amarillo, Galena, and Callista. I've never had Callista hops. I don't even know what they smell like. I've had uh, Mosaic and uh, mm -hmm. uh, Nice. Awesome. Rodolfo, you got your NEIPA on tap. What did you uh, What did you put in it? What's your secret ingredient in there? I... Um, I'm thinking of doing it, and the recipe that I was hearing on this experimental brewing podcast was basically just like a two row and some oats was all they had for the grain bill, which this doesn't really have a whole lot more than that. I mean, it's two row care foam and acidulated. The care foam just actually adds a little bit more to the body. So, hey, Gyro Monkey TV, cheers! Hi. We're having cheers. a uh, NEIPA for the first time, so uh, I'm kind of liking it. It's growing on her a little bit. So, uh, Platform Brewing Company. Uh, is who we're drinking, and it's uh, Mosaic Mist, and it's their small batch IPA series. So they are putting this out in small batches. I think they're kind of running some test batches and stuff. Um, I tried to get some of the Mad Tree. Um, they have a new beer out that has a cool like circuit board and everything on it that they've been developing for about three years, but they were all sold out of it. So <laughs> this was, I was great. Very I'm sad. glad you got this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wanted. To, I've been wanting to try. I went into the beer store and I was looking at what they had and. I haven't, I was, I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to see if I can find a New England IPA because I've been wanting to maybe brew one. And sure enough, I picked this up and I flipped it around and went, aha, New England IPA. <laughs> and I didn't realize uh, the Voskovike, uh, I hope I'm saying, you can tell me if I'm saying that properly. Um, V-O-S-S. RV Lifer, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. No more tent camping for us, for sure. Oh, no. I hate putting up, I hated putting up tents. And uh, this thing. Picture us on an airbed. I mean, sleeping. <laughs> Rocks in the back. And yeah, every right. time you get up, the other one goes, boom. Yeah, exactly. Right. When I get up, <laughs> she goes flying out of the bed. <laughs> Actually, I go sinking down. Mm -hmm. But when you get in, sometimes mm. I pop up. Yeah, when I get out, you, you sink to the floor. And then when I yeah. get up, or when I get in the bed, you go flying out of there. So. <laughs> awesome. Well, who else we got run, uh, watching tonight? Give us a little shout out here so we can. Uh, include you in the um in the broadcast here we're just uh trying to relax and unwind i'm telling you what i we deserve a beer after this week it's been, it's been a week. something else i'm telling I you what meetings and everything else yeah. yeah no doubt yeah i know i was on a live broadcast trying job. out some stuff uh last night so well yeah this is uh this is a good beer i think i like it a lot um I definitely want to try some more New England IPAs. What, what do you guys What do you guys recommend as far as like trying for a New England IPA? What What do you guys recommend that we should try? Um, and we've been doing Ohio stuff, but I realize that if we're going to do New England IPAs, we might have to get out of Ohio. But uh, you know, I'm not opposed to that at all. So, two row wheat oats, carapils, 
a bit of honey malt, but the Vermont yeast and three to one. Okay, three to one chloride sulfate is a good part. Okay, uh, Gyro Monkey. This is actually, I believe, this is uh, produced out of Cleveland, Ohio. So Vermont yeast. They do have is. a small brewery in Columbus. It's like a three and a half barrel system this that one? they have. Yeah, they have a, a small system. Oh, true, but it's in Columbus. In but their main production brewery is up in Cleveland, so. Okay. Uh, that's where it's out of. And they do a bunch of really cool stuff. We've done one of their beers before, and it was uh, the Highbrow Barista. Mm -hmm. And what was crazy about it, it was a pale ale with coffee. And that doesn't sound it good at neat. all. That was cool. But it was actually pretty good. I mean, it was one of those ones where I could drink several of them, as a matter mm -hmm. of fact. You know, some beers you get like we that did. that are kind of crazy <laughs> beers. Well, you know, you have one, and you're like, oh, that's neat. I'm a, kind of the way I am with pumpkin beers. It's like, okay, that was pretty yeah. good, Pumpkin's and you're done. Me, but you're not the highbrow barista I could definitely have quite a few of, so mm -hmm. for sure. Oh, no problem, Josh. Uh, I, we'd love to have some anytime you can shoot some over here, especially the stuff we can't get over here in Ohio. Did we so. bring cornhole? No. Oh, we, we have the game of that. life, though, so he's going to play <laughs> Never played It's game so of life. much fun with just two players. <laughs> It's so wonderful. My chances of winning are better. <laughs> yeah, I'd love. Uh, oh, that's right, John. You're on, are you gonna are you gonna be released from your your beer hold, John, or how is that working? And uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, beer fest tomorrow in Hamilton, Canada. Awesome. Are you gonna make it over to it or? Well, I hope you heal, John. So that's mm. most important. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully you get uh, your your beer restrictions lifted. Heal. Yeah, exactly. Of course. Oh, and Beer Fest tomorrow in Hamilton, huh? That sounds like a lot of fun for sure. Yeah. Did you get a pretzel necklace? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, all the carbs going on. <laughs> exactly. Pretzel necklace in the whole nine yards. Yeah, we have I those Beer Fest here. With a variety pack of potato chips and um, like corn chips and all that kind of stuff. They put holes in the bags and wore that as a necklace. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. No, <laughs> Josh, don't send me your 120 minute. I Yeah, if you've got some of that, we can get, we do get it here in Ohio. So wow. hang on to that for sure. That's that's like gold for sure. Uh, yeah, six hours we can too. Well, let's see. We have to get a passport and go across the border and all that stuff. I'm so. there. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, ghost pepper stout. Cool. Mm, um, mm. Is it now? I've mm. wondered about some of those like that. Ghost pepper stout. Yeah, that would be pretty good because you got the chocolatey and the th you know the thick, rich yeah. malt character backbone Ooh. with the ghost pepper. Now I, I'm assuming they didn't. Is that your beer or is it somebody else's beer that uh, that you're drinking the ghost pepper stout? Because I, I wouldn't mind trying something like that. Oh, I would. Love I really that. liked. The, we did that Halalima review. Halalima. <laughs> not too long ago and it was uh, jalapenos and lime and it was actually really good it was, so it's yummy it tastes like food like food drink mm-hmm definitely definitely it was very good I think mm -hmm. you said it was like drinking chips and salsa right yep <laughs> mm -hmm. that is actually pretty good for sure what apart what uh, where about in Texas are you at gyro monkey The sounds of silence. And I'm like Bueller. <laughs> Bueller. Uh, judging homebrew in Athens for Ohio brew. Oh, sweet, nice, Chris. That sounds pretty. You know, I did actually. I saw that oh. on. Uh, I think it was either. I wish you luck. Instagram or on luck. Twitter, one of the two. Good luck, Chris. Yeah, cheers, Chris. Um, you'll get to taste lots of beers, and hopefully, you remember them after you're done. You will. <laughs> it's so fun. Awesome. Yeah, I, I saw that. Uh, I saw it out there online, and uh, I think I saw Jackie O's had a little bit of a part in that. So Ooh. that's awesome. So, I like Jackie O's. Uh, Buddy's Homebrew. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good recipe uh, that might be one to try for sure. Might be a little bit hot in the summertime, but, you know, maybe. Uh, I, I might be still good try it, but yeah, around the fall or whatever. So. Oh, my gosh, in the fall. Right hey, Brian. Here. What's up, buddy? Give it the devil horns. <laughs> I thrash metal. Uh, uh, contact me. Uh, cheers, Brian. Uh, contact me, uh, Junior, and I'll get you an address to send some to. Um, I, I'll, I'll get you an address. We are camping. You have a dead bug in your hair. I have, oh, well, there you go. That's camping for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm his wife. I can't ignore it. Well, we like we like rushed, hold, hold butt over here and like. 
We got just, everything set up real quick, throwing just, everything back and in, get it leveled up, get was, all that stuff, you know, get it plugged in, hooked up, all everything. <laughs> I was a zombie. I'm like, we have to be on time. <laughs> now I'm waking mm. up. So, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, shoot. Now I'm ready for Euchre or something. Yeah, right? You Come play some over. cards. <laughs> play some life. <laughs> I love that game. Uh, too funny. I'm almost out of a beer here. I tell you what, this is pretty good. The oh wow, when it's warmed up, it has definitely. I, I'm think I'm smelling that. Uh, I really like it now. Yes, I'm we are in a it. camper, Brian. We certainly are. This is a remote camping edition. We were going to do it outside, uh, the broadcast, and uh, it was too windy. Too many kids. Yeah, too many kids <laughs> running around. Everything, you know, no, it'd be like what? No, I'm just kidding. It'd be like it'd be like having it'd be almost like having Junior on a, on your live they broadcast. Would have stopped and said, <laughs> <laughs> Can I come over? Yeah, right. He's on YouTube. <laughs> is she 40? Is you yeah. old enough to drink that beer? Yeah, right. Mm. <laughs> mm. One of our neighbors Too was... Too funny. <laughs> our neighbor kids said no. stuff like that to Brian. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is our, uh, this is our uh, tenement on wheels. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. This is... Uh, this is uh, so. I guess we should say this is uh, uh, we could roll this into Friday night beer review, effort Friday, and are we doing hashtags here? No. Well, I mean, you know, people do effort Fridays and do like no, I don't drink beer. Well, some of the you know brew tubers do. So oh, see, uh, I know. I'm yeah, well, Facebook. Junior, I'm there's really a reason worried. why you have six kids. I don't know if you're aware of that or not. But <laughs> oh. You you can control your destiny on that. Just so you know. <laughs> Oh, six kids. Good for you. <laughs> Last time, we, one time we were live, his, his, baby, his baby was laying next to him. It was kind of funny. It was like... <laughs> I always thought I was going to have four kids, but mm -hmm. I only have one. You guys ready for some serious chat? Mm. Okay, here we go. No. I'm just no. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We need we need to have a talk. Birds and the Bees. Kelly. Birds and the Bees talk. <laughs> Oh, you guys. <laughs> um, we actually, because uh, I was in Giant Eagle one day, and I think they got it's one day of over here in Ohio, and I think they got like maybe two or three six packs, and then uh, I have a the one of the beer stores is pretty close to me. The guy there is pretty good at getting that kind of stuff, um, you know. Sometimes, so uh, we've we have had some of that beer here. Uh, recently, so you know, it's one of those things where I saw it whenever they produced their last batch. Oh yeah, my oh makeup. I need more powder, more powder. I we turned off the AC so we could not annoy you with all that noise. <laughs> yeah, um, I have not tried 120 minute though to answer your actual question. Um, I know a few people that have, that have had it, but I definitely I'd like to try it because I you know I hear it's absolutely amazing and. I, Usually, I think it's about twenty-one percent alcohol, but it is an IPA. That would kill and you. So they they boil that beer for one hundred and twenty <laughs> minutes. That's why it's called one hundred and twenty minute IPA. Okay, I, yeah, I figured that's and, what he was talking about. And they just continuously add hops to it for the entire two hours that they brew it. So it's Dang. like it's a real, it's a over the top hoppy. That's a real and deal. Also, it's a real I mean, dill pickle. yeah, exactly. You feel no pain after that. So <laughs> I had a. I love Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale, yeah. which isn't anything from Ohio, but <laughs> obviously, but uh, that's my favorite. But we had some beers that were almost 12%, and we decided to go on a Saturday, you know, after we had a big breakfast, and it was before grocery shopping, and the whole way through the store, I was like, I want to go back home, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> what was that? When was that? Mm. That was, oh God, like two years ago, but we went to the local craft brewery. Oh had, yeah. We, so we have a, there's a, a brewery here locally called Zaftig. Yes. And I think. It was it, good. It was a good beer, but I was so yeah. tired at the grocery store. I was so mad at myself because it was only like noon or one. Awesome. That's one. awesome, Josh. Um, yes. I mean, uh, we have a brewery here locally called Zaftig and we haven't done a review of any of their stuff yet, but. They really make some high gravity beers. I think it, when we went over there, they're tasty though. So yeah. they're tasty. I yeah, when we went over there in it. the in the summertime, I think I think the yeah. lowest ABV they had was like 8%. eight percent. It was a wheat beer. Yep. And oh my god, it was crazy. It's got to be careful. Ah yes, Kelly likes bourbon too. 
I like me some tequila as well. <laughs> I love bourbon. Yeah, he, uh, he was talking about the dogfish head 120 uh, gyro monkey. This is not scotch. dogfish head. This is uh, this is the um, platform. Platform. Ooh, excuse me. Goodness platform. gracious. Platform. <laughs> I can't say it. Mosaic mist. Yes. That is what that is. And that's so. truly why, yes, it's absolutely mosaic. That's nope. what stands out. I'm absolutely. Awake I'm awake. I'm officially awake. Yeah, right? <laughs> I just oh. looked out the window to see somebody digging in their crack. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. The plumber's here. <laughs> Got a problem. <laughs> With the crack. Oh my gosh. And the crack sink. kills. Stop <laughs> crack it. Kills. That's sad it does. Mm. So anyway, we're not making fun of that. Yeah, no doubt. Anyway. Mm. Well, guys, I uh, I hate to cut it short, but uh, I'm running on my my uh, wi-fi hotspot on my cellular here so uh yeah no, no we're yeah well we're home already so you know i'm i'm uh, i'm good i just i haven't had any dinner yet so i had a small lunch <laughs> are you smashed no i'm not smashed i'm smashed. i just it struck me particularly funny whenever i see a pair of bright really neon true. orange shorts walking down the road and then there's a hand stuck in the middle of it no some guy was out there um, no, it was a gal. It was a girl, wasn't it? <laughs> it was, it a, was girl. a girl. I thought I was, was wrong. I thought maybe it looked like a girl. Oh man, too well, funny. Oh, you know, nice camping. There's just no rules. Nice, nice. Yeah, so I think we'll probably you we're, we're on the cellular data, so I don't want to I don't want to blow up my uh, my my CFO here will uh, ask me what the heck happened to the phone bill if I stream much longer. So <laughs> I really appreciate you guys stopping Sorry. by. We had a uh, we had a blast here in this. Me. No. Sure. Yeah, go fund me. <laughs> we'll do it more. You'll have one of those. <laughs> I know. I'll make one. Uh, we had fun trying out our first uh, New England IPA. So I got a six pack of these. So I might have a couple more tonight, and uh, Maybe we fish. will. Uh, we'll see you guys. I'm going to make an announcement, and uh, I'm going to be brewing next weekend, the 22nd in the morning, and I'm going to be doing that new uh, hangout slash OBS chat, all that whole thing that I practiced with the other night. So you're doing the cherry. Yes, I'm gonna be doing the the uh, saison with the cherry. I won't be putting the cherries in the boil. I'm gonna be putting them in the secondary, secondary. or in the, in the primary. But uh, wait, yeah, what? Primary? I'll be putting them in the primary. Okay. After the the beer gets started, okay. after once the yeast gets going. So, but anyways, uh, cheers. Uh, I'm almost out of beer, so I better cheers before I run out. So cheers, have a beer. The weekend is here. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys, on this uh, camping edition live uh, beer review. So we appreciate you hanging out. Have a great one. Holla.